Hey guys, Tyrup here, bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Crossroads Winter. So if today's spawning in the north, we've got Luciano. Things off there. And uh, straight away locking into defensive, getting himself out some Austrian, but also going for tier 1 and in a curious position here. Basically covering this machine gun's entire arc in front of his base. Which I think like slightly off to the side would have been a better position, but alright. Facing off against him, we have Big B playing as the Brits and straight away locking into Mobile Assault. In terms of rankings, Luciano uh, around rank 90 and Big B around rank 85. So uh, pretty even ranks for these two players. So a full wire off. On the cutoff, looks like there might still be a couple cover positions back there though. Hard to wire off sandbags. But I think, you know, we're playing with Ostrup and it does kind of pay to put down sandbags on your cutoff sometimes since they can barely fight without cover. So, you know, you hear me bleating on about sandbags on cutoffs and whatnot quite often, but I think on Ostrup and it does kind of make sense to put down some cover there. Especially before they get access to our building it themselves at uh, two command points. Building those with your pious. Interruption on the sandbags and construction. Big B pulling back to the heavy cover. The machine gun moves forwards. Tommy's in the house getting uh, quite badly outnumbered now. Infantry section just pulling back here. Still going to complete the capture. Luciano moving on to the cutoff. There's a Vickers covering it though, but because the sandbags are there, he might be able to get the neutralize before he gets forced away. So sandbags on the cutoff, backfiring over here. For Big B. Not quite in heavy cover, but they weren't getting focused. He was shooting at the uh, Pios, but so badly outgunned. Probably should have pulled back there before he just took that much damage. Maybe we could have like soft retreated out to this cover. Got something going. I suppose he just, he just didn't really have much on the go. Going for a second Vickers. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a fellow double Vickers player. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. Here's Ostrup and it might actually be quite successful. Especially with the Luciano going for the four Ostrup and start. And Ostrup and very bad at flanking. Because they can't fight out of cover. So you can't like run and gun as you make your flanks happen. Okay, flamethrower pops for Luciano but... We're already down to two models on this bio, and I don't think you can go house to house with a flamethrower here. Closing in. Will the Vickers refocus? Does now. Got the heavy cover there though, and decides to jump out. I think maybe if he got the suppression on as the pies were approaching, he might have gone for the kill there, but instead popping out. Just soft retreating though. A few skirmishes across here. Setting up. I was trying to clear the arc. They do have enhanced line of sight, remember. That's why Luciano pulling back there. The enemy is attempting to steal and uh, Big B finds a chance to run onto the cutoff. That is the hallmark of Crossroads Winter. Just diving onto your opponent's cutoff again and again and again and again and again. And again. So far though. Been a bit more fighting focus through the center than what is usual, I would say. And I got quite aggressive with the Vickers here, going for this cutoff. Nice, but we've got two squads coming in on the rear now. Now that he's suppressed, he uh, might as well retreat. Ostrup and closing the distance. And here we go. Vickers uh, actually pulling back. Second Vickers coming in from this side, getting some suppression on Luciano. Feeling the pressure from the double Vickers here with his Ostrupin. And he's not building his tier 2 tech here. I feel like that's a huge blunder. 
is now a field hospital. Bring his pies out onto the battlefield instead. And getting suppressed. Did put down a uh, med bunker back there. Oh, he's trying to crawl in. But they get pinned. G42 from the site. And Vickers pulling back probably at two models. That amount of health is worth uh, retreating now. But he's got some good value out of the double Vickers so far. And he's been uh, pretty good about the positioning. And as I said, the uh, Ostrupen making life pretty easy for Big B. Performance uh, on the move and on these flanks is just not that good. He's gone for a pretty heavy infantry start here, Big B. It could leave him exposed to a light vehicle. Over Luciano, extremely late building a light vehicle. That's one of the real strengths of the Ostrupen commander. How fast you can get your light vehicles out, get them out comfortably before the AEC is an issue against Brits. It's usually the 222 only arrives maybe like 20 seconds before the AEC. Makes it hard to get much damage done. So, uh, yeah, Luciano making use of Ostrup and not, not making, taking point. advantage of one of the biggest strengths of using the commander. And AEC coming up for Big B. But we're at seven minutes now. I think if it was me, I'd be like, oh, my point is not getting a light vehicle seven minutes in. I, you know, if I had completed the uh, requisition, I'd probably just leave it alone and not even go for the AEC here. Because it doesn't do terribly good damage against infantry. It's more of a nuisance. It will slow down his progress towards a medium tank. But, you know, because he's got the requisition, building the AC, if he absolutely needs it, shouldn't take too long. Sweeping here. So he has to come around the corner. Can't sweep from right in front of the machine gun. I'll strip on the wrong side of cover. Good chunk of damage. Don't manage to get neutralized there, but they have neutralized the fuel. I was trying to get the flank off, but the section is there doing too much damage. And with the sweeper as well, the damage is not terribly strong. And G42 winning the MG on MG battle. And it looks like the Vickers going to get forced off here shortly. We do have a section coming in from the side. Vickers does get suppression in with that burst, allowing this flank to be so much more successful for Big B. Oh. And uh, infantry section goes down up there on the cutoff. Over here. No, it's dead. Anyway, no, it definitely was an infantry section. Commander's coming in in the center. Luciano under quite a lot of pressure here. Ticking up now though. But still a long time before he can build a medium tank. We didn't see uh, a five man upgrade from Big B. And now that he's just down to two infantry sections, might be worth considering just not even going for it. Just leaning further into commandos instead for his uh, anti-infantry firepower. Our industry grows to support us. I haven't seen him make use of a uh, flamethrower either. One of the real strengths of this commander. A capture point is being overrun. And if he does want to lean on those royal engineers with the flamers, if the five man would be uh, good. Nice ambush there from the commandos. Didn't chase down though. Maybe could have got a couple more models off the squad if he had. As it stands, you know, one, one model off an Ostrupen squad. Not very much bleed for that kind of ambush. 
hoping for more. Lucio runs right into the last known location of the commandos. It's forced away. And pushing on to the fuel here. Oh, Rick is in some trouble. But see, he's out in the open. And the Austrian are doing almost no damage. So he gets away just fine. If that was like a Grandier squad, pretty sure that would have gone down right there. Plant a uh, demo on there, maybe. Didn't see that. Looks like it. Doesn't look like it got anything, though. Chasing in after the pack. Doing some decent damage, but getting a little bit too low. Going back now. Now you see on the far side doing some damage away from the range of the pack. At the moment. Map control looking pretty good for Luciano. Has put down his tech structure as well, and about 20 fuel away from the flak pans if that's what he wants to go for. We have a sniper coming up for BB now though, which is again uh, not a terribly good idea. Generally against Ostrup and getting a kill on Ostrup and model is just not that impactful. So cheap to reinforce. And typically, the Austrian strategies you're up against a lot of light vehicle pressure and fast medium tanks. Keeping a sniper alive in those scenarios is uh, a little bit trickier, so... Yeah, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not too big of a fan of this sniper in this scenario. But generally, snipers are pretty good against Alsea. They don't go for a uh, counter-snipe themselves. No flamer coming in from the side. He's switching windows, getting very, very low. Flamer gets one burst in, jumps out in the nick of time. Close call, and he comes out the wrong side there. Almost goes down to the Ostrup, and that is bad control. Jumping out of that door. Get Sniper opening up, getting some kills here. And there's one benefit, the Austrian and running and gunning on the sniper do almost no damage out of cover. Commando's in some trouble here, Pilo's moving into the retreat path, he's trying to bait them into the machine gun, does he get suppression, going for a grenade! So risky! Luciano dodging with one, staying in cover for the other. Man, that was a risky, <laughs> that was a risky one going back in there. If that Vickers didn't suppress the flamer there, I'm pretty sure he was dead. And the Vickers suppression is not particularly strong either. Ready to go on reconnaissance. He's still not at full strength, which is a little bit scary. I don't think he, you know, he took that one shot from the pack and that must have been like four minutes ago now. I just never repeated it up. I'm pretty sure that's how it's happened. He's about to be up against Panzer IV, and you know, Panzer IV will be able to kill this from this amount of health very, very easily. So, hopefully, he repairs that in the not too distant future. Shingo coming in from the other side for Luciano, trying to stall for time until he gets its suppression cooking. And here comes the Panzer IV. No tech up yet from Big B. Does have a decent amount of fuel. But, uh, we're about to lose a lot on map control. Oof. Triggered a friendly mine there, it looked like. A little bit unlucky for Big B, but I suppose it's kind of lucky to end up killing his whole squad. Does have an AT gun. He hasn't tried any attack grounds yet. Before coming forwards. There we go. Oh, big one two punch. Before in some trouble. Trying to use the tread shot. A T gun misses though. And uh, Luciano goes for an attack ground, connects with the wreck that's over there. So it was unsuccessful. But that was a close call for Luciano. If the AC was full strength there and that uh, six pounder shot connected, could have been the end of the Panzer IV.
Amigos! Ready for orders! Orders is here. Currently without his uh, fuel connector, Are Big B in a little bit of trouble. Looks like he has started his tick now. Still around 25 fuel away from a Cromwell, so could be a tall task to get there. Looks like Luciano investing into his second AT gun. And that is uh, hard to deal with, but luckily Big B, you know, he's got the sniper, which is pretty good against the support weapon play like that, and also his access to the land mattress in this commander. British uh, these tools against support weapon play like that, even though it's not terribly good. Probably the worst rocket artillery in the game. Maybe we'll be able to make it uh, work here. And Luciano backing this up, going for a Stug E. So really trying to apply the pressure to Bigby before he can get his next tack count. Because he's gone for the second pack, not quite as worried about the anti-tank being an issue. Feels free to go for the Stugi, which is largely uh, anti-infantry. Comes the Stugi. Six pounder pulling back here a little bit. Setting up and connecting. This guy's not behind heavy cover here, gotta be careful. Could take some big damage from the Stugi. Scenery rounds from one side, sniper from the other. Stuggy positioning itself behind the building and doing some attack grounds over it. Here we go, AC coming in. Forcing back the MG42, Luciano in a bit of disarray here, a lot of units back at base. AT gun not in a very good position here. Commandos, ooh, diving onto the cutoff, narrowly avoid taking a lot of damage from Strugi, but the second shot might connect a little bit more effectively. AC, just trying to bait him into this tower. There we go, AC goes down. And he has had these engineers on the battlefield for a long time. We've upgraded them with the Flamer or the Sweeper. Should have gone for one or the other, I'd say. Could have, you know, he's pretty low on munitions at the moment, but could have gone for a uh, sweeper over a set of mines quite easily. And he pays the ultimate price there, loses the AEC, which could have been uh, helpful between the AEC, Cromwell, and an anti tank gun. He could have uh, fended off this Panzer IV a lot more effectively, but as it stands now, it's going to be very, very tricky for Big B. But maybe if Luciano's not too good with his AT gun positioning, he can get away with it. Luciano moving in with his AT gun. Cromwell coming around the corner though. Sniper opens up on the AT gun. And takes a shot at the Cromwell. And then pulling back. Sniper not able to get in range for a second hit. Mino's waiting here for an ambush, but the Strugi escorting these troops. The sweeper. Oh, bundle. Oh, uh, light gammon bomb. Pretty good connection. Triggers the mine as well. Commander's in here doing some big damage and triggers the mine on top of the Stug. Stug out here damaged. Uh, Cromwell mobilizing. Still low in health, though. Luciano bringing over the AT gun and the Panzer IV to try and defend it. Commando's nearly go down to the Strugi. But look at all those corpses, a lot of manpower bleeds. Cromwell coming in. Oh, runs right into the incendiary rounds equipped MG42. And gets decrewed right at the edge of the arc. And Bigby really feeling the impact of uh, not repairing up his Cromwell here. This was at full strength. Probably got, could have gone in for the dive here, but instead he has to play a lot more passively. And now he's losing say T gun goes for the smoke but slightly too late it's a good idea though 
And in this commander, you do have access to the vehicle crew repairs, and I did see him planting a mine just before. So instead of planting a mine, he could have spent some of that munitions on the crew repairs. And his Cromwell might have been at full strength to uh, jump on top of that Stuggy. This stage Luciano sitting pretty uh, has ticked up to battle phase three. I think that's the right choice and needs to put down this tech structure, start getting those LMGs as well. For the Ostrupin. And that will just make life even harder for Bigby. But a just a nothing going on right now. As Luciano works his way back onto the battlefield. Bigby not pushing anywhere. Playing very, very passively. Here we go, Sniper moving in, Luciano coming in from a few different angles. Might as well just retreat them at that amount of health. Save the manpower, man. It's a really bad play there. Because suppressing these off troop and trying to go for the flank on the Sniper. And very strange to see him not get medics on that second infantry section as well. He's uh, definitely costing himself a lot of manpower by not having enough healing as Big B. Before coming in, but the AT gun's back there. Now Luciano pulling back. Cromwell coming in though. Full strength. The shot misses. Come around the other side of the, the sandbags, hoping for a good shot. And does get a pretty good one. Two kills. We are losing a sector. AT gun pushing forwards here. Oh, accidentally targets the Strug E. And Luciano calling in the sector artillery. Oh man, I don't think Big B's noticed this. He could be in for some uh, big damage. No, he's pulled back. It doesn't look like it's going to target inside the... Uh, BP sector there. Oof. Once again, jumping out on the wrong side. I don't think he knows how to get out on the correct side of a building. And it is uh, no good. <laughs> how? How at this rank? Do you not know how to get out the correct side of a building, man? It was like micro tips one or two. Another AT gun coming in for Big B. I think that's the right choice to uh, deal with this Panzer IV. Still a little bit low on fuel. He wants to go for something a bit heavier. Maybe at this stage wants to go for a Comet. Maybe take up a bit further. But it's kind of playing into Luciano's hands with the take up to tier 4. So going for the Werfer. What's going He's lost the uh, infantry section he had. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job on the observing here. Nice attack round through the trees. AT gun decreed. Yeah, he lost the un unupgraded infantry section. Sniper in some trouble. Double AT guns connecting with the Cromwell. Briefly stopping in the arc, but luckily the final shot misses. And the Vickers out here doing some nice damage. D Cruise one of the packs. Rommel coming back in, extremely risky, but Luciano has pulled back. And T Gun out here in ruins. Now pulling back. If you can yeah, get the kill on this pack, that would be nice. And I really do hope he uses the crew appears. Yep, now he does. Because there's not a huge amount to spend your munitions on in this commander. And by having crew appears, it kind of means you can get away with just having one engineer instead of requiring two or more. But I do wish he would get sweepers.
Okay, goes for the steal on the pack with the commandos. And Luciano once again calling the sector artillery, but this is largely defensive. Yeah, so it's not going to do anything. I think it's a little bit of a waste of munitions, but I mean, it's, just, it's got quite a lot of them. Both coming through. Uh, decent damage, but only one model down. Doesn't get the scatter. And that can be the issue for getting the Werfer, especially in these 1v1 scenarios. It can take oftentimes like four or five shots to connect and it takes quite a lot of investment to get there. You know, you have to tick up to tier four, put down the tech structure, then get the Werfer. And that whole time you're spending all those resources, your opponent's upgrading their army too. So if your Werfer doesn't get a good shot early, you can fall way, way behind. So let's see if that's going to be the case for Luciano here. Still very, very far ahead, and he's about to further that lead with the arrival of the Panther. He'd be going for another Cromwell, which I don't understand. I thought the fact that he's gone for a second AT gun meant that he was trying to save up for like a Comet or something. Something that, you know, you can keep it alive a little bit easier. I suppose he did steal away one of the AT guns from Luciano, making the Cromwell a little bit safer of a choice, but might be regretting his decision once he sees the Panther arrive. Did that just bounce? That... Whoa! Oh, I was trooping down and uh, drops the MG. Picked up by the Commandos. Cromwell come forward, say T guns out the back, doing some damage. Cromwell's getting the flank here. Panther just arriving now, but not quite in the uh, battle zone. And the Stuggy is down, abandoned, not gets finished off by the AT guns. Cromwell's are getting out of there. Probably, I think, should have gone in for the continued push onto the Panzer IV and finished the job there. Especially if he put smoke on Luciano's pack, that would be nice. And throwing a grenade on. Panzer IV, I don't know what that's for. Sometimes you can throw grenades at like light vehicles and it'll do some good damage to them, but Panzer IV? Mm, that's a little bit too tough, I'd say. Oh, wow, Luciano trying to appear on the front lines while capping, and the Cromwell finds him, gets the kill. Panther now coming in. Oh, the sniper gets the critical. Panther with the jammed turret. Panther in trouble getting his pathing blocked a little bit as well. Worth for coming in on the AT guns. Oh, but it goes down. The Cromwell penetrates through the front and finishes his job on the Panther. Everything just went wrong there for Luciano. And the double Cromwells end up working out nicely. Well, that was unexpected. And yeah, the Werf is not finishing the job on the AT guns, costing Luciano there. But that was a good time, a uh, fortunate time for Big B to strike. Left. Before, uh, before the Panther arrived by like 20 seconds or so. And Luciano did, I think, brought it maybe on from the wrong side of the battlefield as well. Could have come out this way a little bit faster. But all right. And one Cromwell did go down. So it's not like he got out Scott Free and Bigby down to just 82 VPs. Very, very far behind in that department. So Luciano's got a long time to rebuild here. We've 75 points left. And now Bigby looking to keep up the pressure going for another Cromwell. Gets the neutralize in the center, getting out of there. Oh, Commanders can shoot the MG42 on the move. Nice. Um, tossing out the smoke there. I'm not sure why. I mean, Ostrup and no cover. Commanders are going to beat them with their MG42 quite easy in that scenario. 
with that. To the center, I think. My blue's dodging forwards. Minor suppression. And Luciano gone for a uh, fresh pack. Until he can field himself some more armor. And Cromwell right in front of the double AT guns. And just like that, it goes down. And that is just so easy to happen with a medium tank like the Cromwell in front of double AT guns. I've, <laughs> I've lost so many medium tanks in the exact fashion. Pushing forwards and oh, double AT guns. I'm dead before I can clear the art. Nice crush there by Bigby. Wow. Continuing to get some push action going as well. Oh, and he finishes the job. Nicely done. Double packs uh, moving into position now. So Luciano now a little bit low on uh, infantry. We lost that Pyo and uh, an Ostrupin earlier. Try to stall the capture here in the center. Oh, coming around the corner on the sniper. Is this the end of it? Oh, and it does go down. The Ostrupin were in cover. Double AT guns connecting with the Cromwell, forcing it away. And this AT gun is extremely low in health. It needs to pull that back for healing. If it must be ready to fire just about. Looks like Luciano tries to save for another panther. Do I think it's the right choice? He also is up against double AT guns. So having the extra durability on the panther, helpful. He's got the uh, Werfer to help him in the anti-infantry department, even though so far it's only got one kill. One kill. Oh. Takes a shot from the pack. Very lucky the other pack wasn't quite in range there. Big B uh, just plays too too risky of a style for my tastes. Oh. I'm uh, much more cautious with how I use my vehicles. Sector uh, Artillery gets some good damage in there. Looks like it was still dropping shells after the Sector was neutralized. Maybe it does that on. Uh, I'm still a bit mystified as to how sector artillery works, but I guess it does it even once the sector is neutralized. I guess the kill on those engineers. Trying to go for the capture, but the Vic is covering it. But Big B is on the drain down to 59, 58. Second Cromwell coming in, but so is the Panther. Trench covering the VP as well for Luciano, so it's going to be tough to break the arc on this. Maybe would have been nice to like slight angle. Maybe a squad could squeak around the side there, but otherwise decent. FG section trying to jump on this VP. We've got the Werfer right there, though. Oh, sorry, uh, fires. What did it shoot at? Oh, maybe it was in the center. Cromwell in some trouble. Double AT guns all oh, badly positioned for Luciano. Looks like he might have just hit right click on them. But should be able to get the kill here. Oh, smoke. Very well timed smoke. Luciano goes for attack round but misses Bigby. What's he doing? Running back into the arc. What was that? That was horrible. If he just continued driving this way, that would have been fine. Instead, he tried to like back his way over here. And Luciano gone for an, an attack ground that should never have hit because the tank should never have been there. I was praising him for his really well-timed smoke on the Cromwell. But then he goes and does that. And uh, Luciano there taking out the second Cromwell and uh, after that I don't think Bigby really has it in him Luciano trying to stay aggressive with the Panther here though oh and he could lose it here Panther trying to blitz abandoned and 
And once again, another example of somebody using a tank on low health and it backfiring against an anti-tank gun. Luciano loses Panther. I thought this was so enough for Luciano, but losing his Panther like that and now his machine gun as well. Uh, the game's back on. <laughs> what a... What a clown fiesta. Nice idea. Game bomb uh, around the corner there. Luciano recruits the machine gun, gets the suppression on, comes out of suppression quite quickly, but runs past the protection of the building again and gets suppressed again. So clock is stalled here. And there's not much going on. I'm gonna speed this up. Worth it in. Going for the kill. Can it do it? Come on. This this closer range. There we go. Weapon crew lost. Five kills now. Finally on the scoreboard. I think I got a single kill in the last four barrages. Got one kill with that first one, and then the next four, I don't think. Got a single go. kill. Oh man. Okay, commandos deployed from this building. Really see that building uh, as a factor. But they're going for the cutoff and the flank on the machine gun. Luciano retreating. And maybe jumping on the VPs again. Oh, in fact, that was was that the steel on the Vickers in the center? Ah, Luciano getting away with that. And now going for the Brumbier. Does have the double AT guns and uh, still has a few Talamines down, so should be able to defend it against what I assume is going to be another Cromwell from Bigby. Oh. Predictive grenade there. Oh, but very good reaction times from Luciano. Flame of forces that squad out of the trench. Luciano trying to make another push over here. He's got the machine gun out of the back. But Commander's behind heavy cover here. So it's taking a long time to go down. Would be ready to fire. So is the Werfer. Missing a shot there. Maybe that was the invulnerability provided by the commando uh, retreating smoke. Pretty sure it still does that for a little bit. Oh, good connection there. Can Luciano finish the job? Oh, he's not chasing. He should have been driving his way over here and looking for one more shot. And the squad gets away because of that, Luciano. That was a big mistake. So he's trying to micro over here. <laughs> you don't often see that. Machine gun run behind the other machine gun. They just sit up and start blasting on it. And uh, look at how fast it's going down at that close of a range. Luciano just outright losing his machine gun there. Dropping the artillery once again. Sector assault. Sector artillery. Coming down. I'm gonna look in the setup here. Let's troop in. Clear the arc, but do get suppressed on their way around the corner. Oh, artillery dropping over here. Looks like they ran into the sector. This uh, VP sector surrounded by the munitions almost took down the machine gun and did a bit of friendly fire damage, I think, to the Ops troopers as well. They also get quite low there. Okay, Rumbia in the center. Vetted up pack right there though. Double AT guns coming around for the Cromwell. Sitting up. No, not quite. Getting their sight blocked by that shrub. 
Oh, he loses his flamer pies in the center. Come on, coming around now. T gun missing. We'll be in a bit of trouble. Trying to bait the Cromwell in here, I think. Cromwell not falling for it. Double A T guns go for the attack round, but missing. Pack pushing up, but the Brumbia has pulled back. We've 25 points left. Nil Vespa random, as they say. 25 VPs left on the British side, but he's uh, got control of the center and now capping in the south. Might be unable to get up here. No, Luciano pulling back. Cromwell coming in. Oh, and he left his AT guns out here, and a bit of trouble from the commandos. Almost uh, decreased one of them. And no, he's near in a position to defend against Cromwell on the other side. But here comes the Brumby on low health. This is a little bit risky. Cromwell could just drive onto the rear armor here and get the kill. He does have a Talamine back there, though. And, uh, oh, he's gone for a Stuggy. Oh, the friendly Talamine gets the kill on the Brumbier. Everything going wrong for Luciano here. Stuggy coming through the center. Trying to clear out the VPs. Back there, and I'll strip it out on negative cover, not doing much damage to the AT gun. He's pushing forwards with it, even. And uh, Luciano doesn't stick around to get the D crew. So it's still alive, still shooting at the Stug E. Luciano just charging into the VP sector here. AT gun still around on a pixel of health. Oh, commandos go down. But the Stugi also goes down to the pixel health AT gun Luciano never finished the job and it costs him the Stugi now going to be up against two Cromwells but he's going to have three anti-tank guns to counter it so let's see if that's enough he only has to drain off 25 VPs can he hold on until then Big B popping the crew repairs also very low on infantry himself could be an issue when it comes to cap some sectors. Looks like he's making a play for the far side with the commandos. Both of them, in fact. Luciano pulling back with his packs. He shouldn't be pulling them all back, though. That f this one, uh, the full health one, should be on the battlefield. And this is maybe showing up a uh, deficiency in his play. That he feels uncomfortable using his AT guns, not in... Uh, one group just something that took took me a while to learn as well Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. but now I do feel quite comfortable with it but there is a, of course something to be said for having them all in one group as well you can get those kind of ambush kills quite easily tries to come into the center but S mines there lock him out and here we go, Triple AT guns sitting up on the Cromwell. Cromwell trying to dodge forwards. Three shots connecting. Cromwell's coming in. Looks like one of the commandos went down. Cromwell's circling the AT guns here. Doesn't jump out of the trench with the Austroop and no Faust. And the AT guns in trouble. Luciano having trouble. One of them goes down, the other two very low. He should have been splitting them off here, trying to get a shot on. Strippen jumps out of the trench now, looking for the foul. Second AT gun goes down. And Luciano loses all three of his anti-tank guns here. Oh my god. That was just so horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in those scenarios what you want to do is like split your AT guns, ideally in three directions if there's nothing uh, shooting at them from your enemy's side. So that way they're not all moving in the same direction and they're not super easy to dodge for your opponent with their tanks. <sighs> so 
So he did stick around and uh, kill all of the Crudent tank guns. And Luciano here going for a Stug. Uh, I think a, a safer choice would have just been a regular Panzer IV. That way he doesn't have to worry about getting flanked so far. I feel like his snaring support on Luciano has been quite bad. So I wouldn't have confidence that he could uh, snare it. The Cromwell and prevent the Stug from getting flanked. And uh, yeah, he doesn't have any other AT support for it at the moment. No into tank gun. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm a little bit doubtful about the Stug choice here. It's not like he was hard done by for fuel. Chasing forwards here. So like he's trying to delay the Faust a little bit. Stug misses the first shot though. Trying to target the Faust now. Stug connecting. But the Faust, uh, I think the Faust connected before the Stug get the, got the shot off. So it doesn't result in an engine critical. Cromwell attack round misses. But uh, Luciano's got sight this whole time of the Cromwell. Cromwell one shot from death. Stug a little bit slow to chase in here. And it looks like it's going to get away. Luciano calling in a Strug E to clear out the commandos on this VP. But he could lose his Ostrup in the process. He's pulling them back. He really wants to get the cap on with that Ostrup and that super low Ostrup. And the commandos do force him away. Strug coming in. He's got the machine gun upgrade on this. Maybe he can get some kills. He, I think he hears the smoke in the base from the crew repairs. So that looks like that's going to be the end of the Cromwell even come through for the uh, finishing blow on some of these super low squads. Luciano also very low on v VPs, down to 53. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. The enemy only have 50 points left. Stuggy in the center, Stug coming through as well. With the machine gun upgrade should be able to assist. There we go, clears that one out. Second one coming through to try and continue the capture. We're getting juked here. And he manages to complete the capture. And get away alive. Commandos with the flamer on the far side. I think, didn't they have the LMG as well? Tossing out the smoke, but I don't think he's going to be able to hang in there any longer. Another Cromwell coming in for Big B. But will it be in time? 13 VPs left. Luciano capping in the center. Stug E heading down here to the south. Hunting demos in the smoke. Oh, direct hit. Commandos go down and that's going to be it for Big B. Not going to be able to uh, win this one in time. Well. There's a rather splendid oh my god. Go. There were... A lot of moments this game that We've made my head hurt. Points. Oh my god, it was quite frustrating to watch, I have to say. <laughs> but, you know, we're post-patch, and there were very few replays around, so... There you go. Luciano, just he needs to get more comfortable with his uh, AT gun splits. It was just... just that had to be like by far the worst player of the game. And both players using their vehicles on low health, very risky. Luciano losing the Panther there, which extended the game and he almost lost because of that. Another like 15 minutes. And uh, Bigby with uh, some of those Cromwells in the AEC. A little bit too risky running around on low health. You know, you do see top players make those gambles sometimes if they want to go for a squad wipe, if they know the AT guns are on the other side of the map situations like that but yeah it needs to be an informed risk i'll wrap on that guys if you like your game to be cast by me details are in the video description below otherwise i'll catch you off for the next thrilling installment goodbye and good luck